Hello, my name is Kylie. I'm the modus biologist with Bird Conservancy of the Rockies, and today I'm going to be showing you how we use the nano VNA to determine our SWR or standing wave ratio for our modus antennas. Um, the SWR is the ratio between the peaks and valleys of the radio wave. We use this to determine the efficiency of the antenna and to make sure it's tuned properly, as well as determining the life of our lightning protection. The perfect reading would be a 1, meaning there's a standing wave ratio of 1 to 1, but the specifics of your antenna will be listed on your antenna spec sheet. Today I'll be using a layered YS4306, which has a spec of under 2. I have connected to that an LMR400 coax cable, which is then attached to a bulkhead that goes from type N connector to the SMA seen here, so it can be read by our nano VNA. So first to set up and determine our SWR, we are going to simplify our screen a little bit. You just press the center of your screen to pull up your main menu. There we are going to go to trace and turn off all traces except for trace zero. And then I'm going to go back, press center of screen to get rid of that main menu. Next we need to internally calibrate our VNA for the frequency being analyzed. We only need to do this if we are changing frequencies on this specific channel. I will be showing you how to save to a channel, so if you are switching between channels to determine different SWRs for different frequencies, you will not need to do this every time, but you will if you are changing the frequency within this channel. So, to set up our calibration, we will be using these end connectors. One has an open middle and a shiny O stands for open. Another one is also shiny, has a small pin in the middle. That shiny stands for short. And the last one is going to be gray, have a plastic metal as well as a pin, and that is going to be our load and connector. For SWR, we're going to be mainly focusing on this port here, our channel zero port. That's all that we really need to worry about. So to get started, we are going to press our menu, press stimulus, and then we are going to set our desired frequency range. So we are going to start at 432 megahertz because today we'll be measuring in the 434 megahertz range, and then press M. So down here you can see where your start of your frequency range is. We're going to press the center again, and then press stop, and we are going to set that to 436 megahertz. This range is just so that our 434 megahertz are going to be somewhere in the middle and easily read. Next, we're going to go back to our main menu and we're going to go to display, format, and then we are going to press SWR. That is going to properly set our SWR here up at the top. Now we're going to go back to our main menu and we are going to press display, scale, scale division, and set that to be 0.25, and then times 1. This sets our divisions to be 0.25 um, wavelengths. And because the SWR is such a small number, this will help us visualize it more easily. Next, we are going to go forward with our calibration. So we're going to go back and back to our main menu and go to Cal for calibration. Next. We are going to press calibrate, and here we are going to take our open end connector and attach it to channel zero. Make sure to get these screwed on nice and tight to ensure a good connection. Here we will press open. We will take off our connector and add our short connector, shiny for short. Next, we'll remove the short and add our load. And press load, isolation, through, and then done. Here, we will save this to channel zero. And that will mean when you open up your nano VNA and turn it on, it will come on to channel zero and will be automatically pre saved to be reading your 434 megahertz antennas. Next, we are going to remove our load 
and attach the bulkhead that is attached to our antenna. Once again, making sure that everything is screwed on nice and tight. From here, we can see our SWR reading. To up at the top, it shows our SWR of 1.07 and where our cursor is. So our cursor down here on the bottom left is currently at 432 megahertz. So we can move our cursor a couple of different ways. We can use our top toggle and move it over and you can see up here where that cursor currently lands or you can drag it as well. So now it's at 434 megahertz and you can see that we have an SWR reading of 1.07 which is incredibly good. Once again, just to cover what we're seeing on our screen right now, we have our start frequency, our stop frequency, our SWR, how much battery we have, what channel we are on, and where our cursor is currently at. This goes and shows your SWR. I hope you find this helpful.